Floyd Ekweremadu, the son of former Senate President Ike Ekweremadu, who is currently incarcerated, recently married his partner Tiffany. The wedding ceremony took place on August 19, 2023 at an Anglican church in FCT and was attended by numerous heavyweight politicians who supported the Ikweremadu family. Lloyd, a successful lawyer and a graduate of Lancaster University, looked joyful in the viral photo taken with his bride while exchanging their wedding vows. It's worth noting that this wedding is taking place just four months after Ike and Beatrice Ekwerimadu, the groom's parents, were found guilty of organ trafficking in the UK and sentenced to years in prison. Since the news of the wedding broke, Nigerians have criticized Ekwerimadu Jr. for hosting such an extravagant event in the absence of his incarcerated parents when they should have been hiding their faces in shame. Many have suggested that a more low-key wedding would have been more appropriate. Among those who have condemned the young lawyer is APC chieftain Joe Ibukwe, who took to Facebook to express his disappointment and prayed that his children would make better choices. Was Lloyd Ekwere Madu wrong for throwing a wedding in his parents' absence? Should he have done a low-key wedding as many suggested? Hello guys, it's Tico here for African Glitz. There is a saying that life goes on no matter the good and bad challenges or poor decisions we make in life, whether for ourselves or those we care about. This is what the Ikwerimadu family are currently doing. Lloyd Ike Ikwerimadu Jr., the eldest son of former Deputy Senate President Ike Ikwerimadu, recently shot down Nigeria's capital to exchange vows with his beautiful bride at the Basilica of Grace Anglican Church, Gudu District, Abuja. The church wedding was then followed by a classy reception at AIB Event Center, Wusei 2, Abuja. What would have been a low rate by the presence of prominent Nigerian politicians from various political parties, including Peter Obi, former Senate President Ayim Pius Ayim, David Mark and Bukola Saraki, PDP governorship candidate in Kogi State, Senator Dino Melaye, among others, was Lloyd's incarcerated parents. The wedding also attracted top chieftains of the ruling All Progressives Congress APC, including Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives Benjamin Kalu, Governor Francis Inwifuru of Eboin State, and Minister-designate Senator David Umayi, among other guests who graced the occasion in solidarity of the Equerimadus. The UK-trained lawyer who was recently appointed as the Commissioner for Sports in Enugu State decided to have his wedding just a few months after his father, the former Senate President Ike Ekwerimadu and mother, Beatrice, was found guilty of organ trafficking in the United Kingdom. They had attempted to obtain a kidney for his younger sister, Sonia, who was struggling with kidney failure. Ike Ekwerimadu was slammed with a prison sentence of 9 years and 8 months, while his wife received 4 years and 6 months. Lloyd, a senior lawyer at Adegboyega Awomolu and Associates, who once blamed the EFCC for his parents' travails, looked happy and all smiles regardless of his parents' sin and the shame they brought to the family. Photos from the wedding have gone viral on social media, provoking mixed reactions from Nigerians. Some praised the newlyweds for their stunning appearance and for moving on with their lives, while also admiring Ekwerimadu Jr. for his strength in the absence of his parents. However, some have criticized the Enugu Commissioner for Sports for holding an extravagant wedding without his parents present, deeming it disrespectful and insensitive. Joe Igbokwe, a chieftain of the All Progressives Congress APC, openly criticized the wedding ceremony. In a Facebook post, the controversial politician criticized Lloyd for having what he saw as a flamboyant wedding event in the absence of his parents, who are sadly in a UK prison. If I were to be Ikwerimadu's son, I would not have staged this elaborate wedding ceremony with my father and mother in prison. I would have done a low-key marriage ceremony and waited till my parents were free. This generation scares me stiff," he wrote. However, former Minister of Aviation, Osita Chidoke, quickly told Joe Igbokwe that he had it all wrong. In a Facebook post, the politicians revealed that Lloyd Ikwerimadu's wedding was held with his parents' approval, brother Joe Igbokwe. You got this very wrong. Very wrong. This wedding was planned and we were getting ready to go to Ikeala for a traditional and Abuja for the white wedding when Ike and his wife were arrested. The wedding is at the behest of Ike Jr's parents. His life has been on hold since the day his parents were arrested. He has had to take over the job of father, mother and senior siblings to his siblings. 
His parents want him to move on, he lamented. Further explaining, he said, They want grandchildren. They want laughter again in their home. They want their children to hold their heads up and walk with pride because their parents are in a situation most parents would have found themselves in. Osi Doke further revealed that the wedding was not as grand as his parents had desired, adding that it only seemed elaborate because in solidarity. The attendance at the wedding is a show of solidarity by his father's friends. He worked with two Senate presidents and they were there. His colleagues came and his close associates were there. We came in solidarity. The wedding was nowhere near what it would have been if his parents were around, he wrote. The former minister added that he wants a son like Lloyd because he stayed strong despite his parents' ordeal. The Ekwe Remadu clan must continue to grow, no matter the setbacks. I want a son like E.K. Jr. He rose like a lion to an occasion that would have destroyed many homes. My respect to the illustrious family of the bride, a respected Anambra family who stood firm and helped the young couple to navigate a tough situation. I have spent time with Senator Ike since his incarceration and this wedding is his wish and he approved of it and so did the wife. Even after Ositachi Dokwe gave a long explanation, Joe remained unconvinced and felt that the wedding didn't make sense to him. The wedding could not have been planned at all. It does not make sense to me. May my children not do this to me. One million well-to-do big men I noticed in this picture can never, never, never take the place of a father who is in custody trying to save the life of a daughter. This generation, may God help us, he lamented. Of course, the situation has sparked mixed reactions on social media. One Instagram user agreed with Joe Igokwe and said, Somehow I agree with this man. If my family is in a mess as it were, daughter sick to death, parents in jail and embarrassed, I will have a wedding all right, but it will be a private one until things blow over. But then, do what works for you will be my advice." Another added, Hmm, <laughs> you mean the children should post their own lives because of the unfortunate incident? So if you are a parent, you will tell your children to hold their lives? Tells the kind of person you are. Also reacting, one Twitter user wrote, I was at the wedding and it wasn't elaborate. The dad's friends decided to honor him. What's wrong with it? Mocking Ekwe Ramadu and his wife, one user tweeted, <laughs> Party Jollof Rice is served in jail with minimal DJ noise. <laughs> Another wrote, While his father is in a foreign jail, he's celebrating here. <sighs> no regard for his father. Another wrote, Hmm. Though his father is in jail, they all came through for the young man. Ike Ikwe Remado will be super grateful when he's out. Another wrote, Their father went to jail because of a child, and another child is here having an elaborate wedding. <laughs> we gather generational wealth for children and sometimes one useless next of kin. Life's indeed funny. One wrote, This is just a church wedding in my opinion. People calling this an elaborate wedding are entitled to their opinions, but I felt if the father is around, this would not be near anything called elaborate. Plus, all these dignitaries will want to show support in the absence of the father. One wrote, I am sure the parents would have given the go-ahead to the wedding. They wouldn't want to kill their son's joy or happiness because of their current travails. Moreover, this isn't an elaborate wedding according to the Equerimadu's class. It could be a society wedding for some people though. And there you have it. What do you think about Lloyd Ekwerimadu's wedding while his parents are in prison? Do you agree with Joe Igbokwe that it was elaborate and should never have been held? Do you agree and support the former minister who insisted his parents approve the wedding? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.